Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video where I will show you how you can perform the anomaly detection in Power BI. So anomaly detection is to basically identify those unusual values which uh, you may want to highlight that they are basically an anomaly or something you know outlier or uh, not expected behavior right either on the positive side or on the negative side. So how you can do that is something that I will show you in this video and if you are landed on the uh, on my channel for the very first time then a quick information for you that uh, this sheet which is a live sheet live google sheet is present in the description you can access it by using that link and search any of my previously created 140 videos and jump to any of this video using the link present in column B and all of my future videos will be updated since it is a live sheet you will going to get all those future videos as well updated over here okay so with that information let's move on to power bi okay there we are and over here what i am showing you is a, the same thing like anomaly detection so like some of the anomalies you know some very very high observation clearly is being pointed out that they are anomaly right so how you can perform and how you can create this type of a chart. So if I delete this and go to visualization, click on this line chart and add this date hierarchy and add the sales, right? What do I have is a simple chart, right? So if I expand this hierarchy by coming over here and clicking this, so this is what we are viewing is the quarter by quarter information. And let's say we want to identify any anomaly over here. Then we need to come here in the analytics pane and we need to click on the find anomalies. In the find anomalies, we have this add section. Within that, you will see that some of the area has been highlighted based on the sensitivity. So if I increase the, sorry, decrease the sensitivity, the area will basically go high. So if I click apply, it's like the entire area since it is less sensitive, so it will going to, you know, cover up entire area. If I increase the sensitivity, like it is being very, very sensitive, uh, for example, 98%. So you will see the area has reduced a lot and it is only able to identify one outlier in this case, right? So that's one thing what you can do. And it, since it is dynamic, if I go to one level down, uh, now this is a month hierarchy. And if I want to go to date level, you will see a lot of basically anomalies since we are at the lowest level right but you although have always have the option like apply you can make it like 60 percent or if you want further you can make it like 37 percent and you will see that only those which are absolutely an outlier is something which is present and this shaded area is basically based on the sensitivity so you don't have a control However, you can make it lighter or darker um, by going down here, expected range transparency. So if I increase this, this will, as you can see, it is reducing. If I in decrease this, the, the it is becoming more dark. So something I wanted to show you in case if you are trying to reduce this just so that it is, it is there, but it is not highlighted too much. Also, if you want to change shape, uh, you can change it. I think this shape is good. Uh, but if you want something like this type of a star or something, anomaly color, you want to change it, I don't know, red or something or like this one, you can change it and you can change the size as well as simply it is given over here. Um, what else? Um, if you want to explain uh, this thing, you want explain by uh, I don't know maybe explain by uh, region or customer country I don't know let's put it over here and click apply it will going to take some time that's what I think and so now uh, since it has been applied I think I need to click over here right so the sales was unexpectedly high on 22 it was the value uh, which is above the hell and error record while running the analysis so i think it is not picking up anything on the country region if i click it here 
we could not find any significant statistical application. Oh, something went wrong. Cancel. So yeah, I mean, as we are uh, making it more and more advanced, you can see that sometimes issues may come. So that's something, you know, what, how you can further explain the uh, anomaly. And this is basically showing you why this point was being recorded and something you are not seeing like why it is not doing any explanation or anything. Let me try some more thing. For example, I try to add subcategory, click apply. We could not find any st statistical significant thing. Nope, nothing like this. So something I wanted to show you the options that is available to you that you can use for for do for this anomaly detection. And as you can see, this is a pane, so you can close this pane as well. But as soon as you will click on any of this anomaly point, it will show you the uh, output of that why it is being shown as an anomaly. So that's something I wanted to show you how you can uh, view the anomalies in this and ex get the explanation behind the anomaly. And somehow these details, uh, details things don't work it out. But uh, I would just suggest that you experiment with it by adding it like different fields and see uh, it, if it is giving you the output. Generally, what I was viewing around, um, uh, I think a few days back, uh, it was showing this anomaly uh, details properly, but uh, I have forgot what I was doing at that time. But I know that this option is present, so I wanted to show you. All right, that's about it, and uh, I'll meet you in the next video.